Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I have a good old fashioned what to eat a day. Everything is gluten free, of course. If you guys are new to my channel, I have so much gluten free content for you. I will link that playlist below. There's a lot of what to eat a days just like this one, what to eat in a week, my favorite gluten free products, recommendations, if your meals to cook, my journey going gluten free. There's so much. So that will be all linked below, along with my Instagram where I also share a ton of gluten free stuff. So make sure you guys check that out. But for today's video, I'm just cataloging everything that I'm making and eating. And later today, I'm actually going to my brother in law's because because I'm dog sitting this week. I have his dog and he's in Mammoth. So I'm gonna go take advantage of the empty house and shoot some content there. Cause he has the most beautiful, like gorgeous all white kitchen. And I love filming like recipes and reels in there. So I'm gonna go do that while they're gone. And I have the dog with me. So that's where we're headed tonight. And I'm gonna cook dinner there and film some stuff. So if you're wondering about the change of scenery, that's what's happening, but it should be a good one. So if you guys enjoy, if you wanna see everything that I eat in a day, please keep watching. For breakfast, I'm doing a little granola parfait. I'm mixing some of this honey vanilla Greek yogurt with this strawberry yogurt that I got from the farmer's market. It's really good, but for some reason it's really thick, so I like to mix it with the yogurt that I normally eat. And then I'm doing some mixed berries that I also got from the farmer's market, and I'm gonna top it with some granola, chia seeds, almonds, and I'll show you guys after. Eating lunch outside because it's spring and it's so nice out. It's like 70 degrees. There's a cool breeze. It's everything. Um, for lunch, I'm having some meatballs with rice and some shaved carrots. Um, these meatballs were some frozen ones that I got from Costco. They're so good. They're chicken meatballs and I believe they're like teriyaki pineapple or something. Uh, but I was surprised to see that they were gluten free. So I picked them up and they've been really nice to have on hand for lunches and just like easy dinners. Um, so I'm eating it with some rice and some shaved carrots. The carrots have a little bit of sesame oil and some sesame seeds, and then I topped it with some green onions. And then I have a little sweet and sour sauce that I'm gonna kind of top it with and maybe dip the meatballs in. I think it tastes really good together. Okay, I finished eating lunch. I figured I would show you guys my nephew that's with me for the weekend. The week, actually. It's Tuesday. Um, this is Drake. Oh, not into the camera. Um, I'm watching him for my brother-in-law this weekend there in the mountains and I have been running a doggy hotel recently. I've been having so many dogs stay with me um, and it's been so nice since I don't have my Ellie girl here anymore. Um, he's been here since Friday night and today's Tuesday and then I have him till tomorrow. So he's my buddy. Um, but it's been nice having a dog here. Obviously, you guys know I love dogs. More coffee, of course. This is Tiemann's coffee. I always have two cups a day, one in the morning and one right now, usually 1.30 or two. It's 1.25 to be exact because I just, I was excited to have my cup and I was ready for it. So um, having that now and then gonna get back to work. Having a little snack, carrots and hummus, one of my favorite combinations. Such an easy, healthy, fulfilling snack. I love to make my own hummus, but I got this one at the farmer's market last weekend and it's so good. I believe the flavor was balsamic vinegar and onion. I think that's what it was. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up on the screen, um, but it's really good. Made it to my brother-in-law's, pouring myself some wine and then cooking dinner. Um, I filmed a few recipes while I was there. You guys will be seeing them this week or next. Um, but this one I actually was filming and then it ended up being what we ate for dinner as well. Um, so that should be posted really soon, but they're just these gluten-free crispy chicken tenders. They're so delicious, so crispy. The recipe will be up soon on my Instagram if you guys wanna check it out. Also served some French fries with it because it just sounded delicious with the chicken tenders. Also made a little salad. I didn't fully prepare to make a salad. I should have bought some more vegetables, but I just had romaine lettuce, salad dressing, and some Parmesan cheese. I made Marcus some croutons out of sourdough bread, so his salad looked a little bit more appetizing, uh, but I didn't have any gluten-free bread to make my own, so. Mine looks plain, but it was still good. It still hit. And you guys know me. I have to have something sweet after a really good meal. I had this vanilla fudge sundae ice cream cone. It's actually gluten-free and dairy-free, and it's amazing. I've actually shared on my channel before, um, but it's delicious, and it's like the perfect size. You get just enough, and you guys need to try it. Marcus is eating a haagen bar. haagen is amazing too, but I was really excited to have this Jolly Llama ice cream cone. 
try them if you guys haven't. So that's a wrap on today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration, some ideas. Um, please comment below if you guys are new to the gluten-free diet. I love hearing from you and just hearing where you are on your journey. It's just a really fun way to connect and relate to you guys. So please take a moment to comment below. I love hearing from you. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.